Hi, I'm Carolyn. I'm a freshman in the English and Textual Studies program here at Arts and Sciences. Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm a graphic design junior, and we're here with Jason Sutter, who just spoke with our History of Rock Music class. Do you have any advice for any young musicians going out into the industry and kind of going out there to be a rock musician? Uh, well, certainly, I mean, definitely, you know, know where, you know, it's, it's all about breaking into a scene. So you, you should know, you know, know where you're going, you know, do your homework, know that that's, if you have your goal, your, your, the dreams that you're looking for, know that whatever city that is, you know, make sure you're picking the right place because it is about the right place, being at the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And if you're not in the right place, you know, you're, 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 Cut, you know, cutting yourself off at the knees. So there's that. Um, obviously, I think, you know, a huge, a huge thing that I tell a lot of younger players is, you know, reach out to the people that you want to, you know, that you aspire to be, you know, nowadays with social media, you can write people and I get written to all the time and say, hey, can I buy a coffee if I get to LA? Can I pick your brain or can I at least ask you a few questions? And, 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 and by doing that, you're, you know, that, that's a great way to kind of at least expose someone to you or, you know, take a lesson with that person. Smash Mouth was a band that I was playing with in 06. I left that band after a year because I got an offer from Chris Cornell, who was just hot off the heels of, of, of Audio Slave and was going to go out and be out, he wanted to be out for forever and it was definitely it was already it was I think it was like a eight month contract most certainly a year and a half of work and it was going to go all over the world they were going to go super big super big venues it was a big deal super anticipated and the music was really challenging so it was a chance for me to as a musician kind of show my my, my stuff and spread my wings you know Probably be a pretty tough question, mm -hmm. but if you could name like your top one, two, or three like records that you've ever listened to, what would you pick? Huh, that's a tough one, but it's um, that's really tricky. But I would definitely say like you know for sure, um, you know I, I think like I don't know why I just keep I always go back to like. Um, I think like Black Sabbath, you know, the first record is amazing mm -hmm. to me and the drumming is so inspired and at that point in their that seminal moment in their career. Yeah. Um, definitely Miles Davis, Miles I think it's called Four and More and My Funny Valentine's put together, mm -hmm. which, you know, I, I think at this point I could say, you know, if I was on a desert island, that would be one of those <laughs> records that yeah. I, I just go back to it again and again. What do you think of today's music? I mean, I think that there is a there is a ton of great music. I think there's a lot of cross pollination, and I think there's a lot of, you know, I think it's it's fresh. Um, a lot of it is beat oriented and drum oriented, and, and um, so I think that that that's exciting from a drummer's perspective. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a lot of like EDM, but that and and a lot of that's created by people who aren't even you know drummers who aren't even you know don't even play an instrument. Maybe yeah. it's just they're they're navigating these sounds. And so, you know, it is the future. You know, I think it is, it's where things are going. Well, thank you for talking to us. This was awesome. <laughs> it Thanks. was great hearing your lecture and getting to talk to you on a more one-on-one -on -one level. Thank you so much. It was, it's been amazing to get to come back to Syracuse, which is, you know, kind of in my, my neck of the woods from where I grew up. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a great time and kind of a blur, a whirlwind of doing all this cool stuff. So thanks for, for having me. It's been very cool.